There has been five major mass extinctions on Earth in the last 500 million years, and scientists don't know exactly what caused them, but there are some theories, let me explain all of them. Starting with the first mass extinction on Earth, which was the Ordovician extinction which took place about 445 million years ago. In this period only life in the ocean existed and plants didn't exist either. It eliminated about 85% of all marine species. And since there was no life on land you can say that it eliminated 85% of all species on Earth. The cause of the mass extinction was either a change of climate where everything became colder. Or it could be that there was a decrease in oxygen in the oceans. Or it could have been both. If it was coldness that killed the majority of marine life, it is theorized that one of the supercontinents back then moved to the polar region and because of that temperature dropped. The reason why it could be both is because sometimes when a climate gets colder, the oxygen level may also decrease. The Ordovician mass extinction didn't happen instantly. The entire extinction took about 2 million years in total to wipe out 85% of all life. And unlike other mass extinctions this one didn't majorly change the ecosystem structure. The second mass extinction. The Devonian mass extinction. The Devonian mass extinction occurred 375 to 360 million years ago. The Devonian era is when the first forests appeared, and the first seeds and soils developed allowing plants to reproduce on dry land. Also the first creatures to walk on land might have been during this era. It eliminated 19% of all families and 50% of all genera. And the Devonian mass extinction is not so different from the Ordovician mass extinction. Because the reason for the extinction was change of climate and a decrease in oxygen in the oceans. The entire extinction lasted between 500,000 years up to 25 million years. The third mass extinction. The Permian-Triassic extinction, happened about 252 million years ago. The planet was populated with a lot of plants and animals in this period. Or it was at least until the extinction happened. It currently is the biggest mass extinction that has taken place. This extinction is even named the Great Dying. About 96% of marine species disappeared, around 76% of terrestrial vertebrates species died and about 83% of insect genera disappeared. The cause of the mass extinction is very confidently a very big volcanic eruption in Siberia. This made the temperature go up globally by a whole 5 to 10 degrees. Because of this, there was a lack of oxygen and animals couldn't breathe and the oceans led to widespread anoxia and acidification. It would take up to 30 million years before the Earth had recovered. The fourth mass extinction, the Triassic-Jurassic extinction, happened about 210 million years ago. This is probably the extinction that scientists knows the least about. During this period the first dinosaurs existed. Also a bunch of other animals appeared like lizards, turtles and crocodiles. About 20% of families and half of all genera went extinct. The cause of the mass extinction was probably huge and widespread volcanic eruptions. This caused an increase in atmospheric CO2 which made the oceans more acid and also global warming. The fifth mass extinction, the Cretaceous tertiary extinction, happened around 65 million years ago and is definitely the more famous one. It is the asteroid or comet that hit the Earth and killed all of the dinosaurs. This caused the age of mammals to take place. And for that reason we humans exist. It killed of 50% of all plants and animals. And we are done. All mass extinction events explained. The consequences of the extinctions are that about 99.9% .9 of all species have gone extinct. It is theorized that 4 billion species have existed and evolved on this planet. Scientists believe that about 8.7 million species exist currently. But we have only discovered 1.2 million of those species. The trajectory of evolution has changed by restructuring ecosystems. That is why we are here. If the asteroid hadn't hit the Earth and wiped out all of the dinosaurs, we wouldn't exist. And who knows? 
we might currently be in a mass extinction. 150 to 200 species go extinct every day. So if 175 species dies every day for 136 years, all species today would have died out and it would set the record for the fastest mass extinction ever. That is going to be the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, comment on what I should make a video about and goodbye.